can't slide in slippers. <laughs> no! Okay, let me take my slippers off. That's true. Okay, that's as good as you're getting. Okay, hi everyone, welcome back. <laughs> welcome back. Hey, <laughs> That is a mess. <laughs> okay, hi everyone, welcome back. So today we're gonna do something kind of fun. And I know I say that every week, but I think this week is gonna be like a little extra fun because we gotta have cereal. Okay, so if you read the title of the video, you probably know what this is gonna be about. It's about cereal milk lattes. This is a drink I have had only once before in my life. It was when I was in Denver. We went on kind of a coffee crawl at the end of our trip. We were down there for the United States Barista Championships, I think the qualifying events, and we were doing this big coffee crawl across the city. And we went to this one cafe and I ordered a latte. And they asked, did I want it made with cereal milk? And of course I was like, what is that? Is that what it sounds like? And they were like, yeah, we make our own in-house cereal milk. We steep it, we switch up the cereal, every week and it's delicious and everyone loves it. So I said, yes, okay, I'll have that. I had it, it was delicious. I believe it was made with Fruit Loops at the time. So we had this really like colorful, like fruity, sweet milk underneath the coffee, really delicious and I loved it. But then I came back and I forgot about it because that was like two years ago. But the reason cereal milk lattes popped back up in my brain today is because I got this recommended video on my YouTube channel by Christina Tosi. And she was making cereal milk and she was talking about Momofuku's milk bar and their recipes and all of that really cool stuff. And I remembered back to that cereal milk latte and I was wondering what other cereals I could make cereal milk with that would taste really, really good with coffee. So. That's what we're doing today. I've got a bunch of different cereals. We're gonna make a whole bunch of cereal milk. We're gonna try them all and we're gonna rate them all and we're gonna see which ones I would want to drink again. But before we get into that, I wanna give a huge shout out to our sponsor today who is Omaze. I wanna give a huge thank you to Omaze for sponsoring today's video. Omaze is a company that offers fantastic experiences and prizes to you all while supporting amazing causes. Now today I'm partnering with Omaze to bring you the opportunity to win $100,000 to help spring your dreams forward. Whether that means building up your savings, taking some much needed time off, or perhaps you just wanna build out the coffee bar of your dreams, Omaze is here to help you do that. Oh, and also, when you enter to win, every donation supports Meals on Wheels Atlanta, a nonprofit organization that started in 1965 and now serves over 600,000 meals a year, home repair services, and more to the Atlanta area. So if you wanna enter for a chance to win $100,000 to help spring forward your dreams, all while supporting Meals on Wheels Atlanta, head over to omaze.com slash MDC, or click the link in the description. This opportunity is open until May 5th, so there's no time to waste. And thank you again to Omaze for sponsoring today's video. Okay, these are the cereals I picked out. I also wanna mention that this is my first time having a majority of these, like eating them even. When I was growing up, Cheerios were considered a fruity cereal, so I wasn't allowed anywhere near these. So first one we have up is the Oreo O's. Oreo O's, whatever this is. We've got Fruity Pebbles, not to be confused with Fruit Loops. These are Fruity Pebbles. I was looking at this box and I know this cereal is called Cookie Crisp, but for a second I thought they were really calling it Great Chocolate Chip Cookie Taste. And I was like, that's such a strange name for a cereal. Um, are these just chocolate chip cookies that you get in your cereal? I missed out on so much as a kid. Okay, and then we have the classic Fruit Loops. I have had a cereal latte made with this before. We're gonna try it again and see if it's as good as I remember. And I also really wanna compare it to the fruity pebbles that we have and see which one is better for cereal milk. That's so hard to say cereal milk. I'm gonna be like, that's gonna be like slurred together this entire time, I'm so sorry. Okay, a classic, I think this will be delicious and I really, really hope I'm right, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And lastly, we have, oh, Yes, Cocoa Puffs, we have Cocoa Puffs. So when I was doing my research for this video, there seemed to be a couple different ways to do cereal milk. You can either do it by heating up your milk and cereal on the stove top and using heat to start to extract some of those flavors. And then you can just instantly run it through a sieve, strain it out, cool your milk and you're ready to go. The other option is doing a longer steeping option where you're using cold milk, you're using cold cereal, you're not heating it up at all and you're letting it sit for like 15 to 20 minutes and then you're straining it. So essentially you're allowing all of those like flavors on the cereals that are coating all of these pieces to be like washed off and infused into the milk at a slower temperature. And I guess there's there's actually kind of like three options because Christina Tosi in her video, which I will be linking down in the description below, talked about toasting cereal before you used the second option. So you would toast your cereal, 
let it cool, and then you would put it in cold milk to steep it for 15, 20 minutes, however long you're gonna do it. The idea of this is that you would start to bring out some of those flavors that are in the cereal already. This is pretty common practice across like any sort of food group. You wanna make something more flavorful or you wanna bring out the pre-existing flavors, you add heat to it. But Christina brought up a really, really good point that you don't need to do this to all cereals. This technique is specifically good for like kind of cornier cereals or cereals that you just wanna enhance the flavors of something like mini wheats or something like frosted flakes, something like that. However, I picked out cereals that are all very, very strongly flavored already. A lot of fruity flavors, you have chocolatey flavors and toasting those wouldn't really do much to it. In fact, you might start to get more burnt flavors rather than toasted enhanced flavors. So we will not be toasting any of these, but keep in mind and also check out the video because she does a really good job of explaining it. If you decide to do cereal milk with something like regular, like frosted flakes, or if you're using frosted mini wheat, you might wanna be toasting those just a little bit before to start to bring out some of those flavors. Anyways, that's a whole lot of explanation about something we're not going to be doing today. But if you decide to make cereal milk, you might want to know those things. So let's get steeping. And now the camera is a little bit farther away. Hello. Now when thinking about the ratio I'm going to use when making this cereal milk, I have to take in consideration that I'm adding coffee to this. And I do want to be able to taste the flavors I'm infusing into the milk. A lot of the recipes that I read online are making cereal milk to just drink straight, which led to them doing about a two parts cold milk to one part cereal ratio. But since I really, really want to get those flavors infused in the milk because I'm going to be adding a super strong flavor like espresso, I think I'm going to go more about a one to one ratio. So I think I'm going to start off with with one and a half cups of cereal to one and a half cups of cold milk. And I'm gonna be using whole milk today, very, very high fat, something that's really gonna soak up and absorb and really accentuate all those flavors. Oh, I mean, actually it's not that exciting. Oh, it's crunchy. One and a half cups. I know, I know, I know, I'm supposed to use weight and not cups, but sometimes, sometimes this is really easy. Here to report that one and a half cups of our Oreo O's uh, is exactly 50 grams of cereal. Now it's time for the milk. Just like with coffee, making sure everything is saturated. Okay, next one, cinnamon toast crunch. The first of the fruits, Fruity Pebbles. Man, the smell of this, when I open this up, it smells like, like continental breakfasts on a family road trip. Cookie crisp. I would have killed to eat this for breakfast as a kid. All right, the second fruit, Fruit Loops. Okay, and then Cocoa Puffs. So we have all of our milks ready. I'm gonna set a timer for, we're gonna give it 15 minutes. I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna give them a taste test and we'll see if we need to go a little bit further. It has been 15 minutes. I'm gonna do a stir, I'm gonna do a taste and we'll see if we need to go any longer. Mushy. All right, here's what we have so far. This is after 15 minutes. You will see that the fruity pebbles over here, this has really started to change color. It's a lot more red slash pink than I was expecting, so that's good. Uh, the rest of these haven't changed a ton. Um, this chocolate one over here, the Cocoa Puffs, of course, is starting to look a little bit more brown uh, as that chocolate comes off, so that's also good. I'm a little bit surprised I gotta say, I'm a little bit surprised about the Fruit Loops over here. Um, the milk hasn't, as far as I can tell, at least right now, noticeably changed color. If anything, maybe it's it's slightly more blue, um, but I expect it to look a lot closer to what the Fruity Pebbles look like. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. The Cinnamon Toast Crunch, I'm very, very excited about because I can start to see a lot of that cinnamon coating uh, is already in the milk. I think this is gonna be delicious. I can't wait. This one, you're starting to get some of those like little Oreo pieces, some of the coatings come off. But other than that, it hasn't really changed color too much. This one is slightly more brown, but the chocolate appears to be loosening and there's like chocolate squiggles everywhere. So hopefully a lot of that flavor has started to kind of embed into this. Not super Oreo-y. Or Oreo y, but I don't know how much more we're gonna get. This is pretty soggy already. It's kind of just mush now. That's good. This one does not need to go any longer. We're definitely gonna strain this one out as soon as we're done tasting. <sighs> Powerful. Like underlying notes of cookie dough. Not very strong. Not as strong as I was expecting. It's a little sad. I'm a little sad about that. There, there's like the underlying fruitiness of uh, Fruit Loops, um, but the Fruity Pebbles like smacks you in the face. And this one is just like, like a little nudge. Tastes like chocolate milk. 
Great, that's what I was hoping. Okay, so I'm going to strain out the fruity pebbles. I'm gonna strain out the cinnamon toast crunch and I think I'm gonna strain out the cocoa pebbles. I think these are all done. I think it's gonna probably take me about five minutes to do these. So I'm gonna leave these to the side to steep for a little bit longer. We'll give them the full 20 minutes and then we'll come back and strain these as well. I'm gonna do this into a bowl first and then I will transfer into my cup. And then I don't wanna like break down all of this. I don't wanna push like chunks of cereal into the milk, um, but I'm gonna kind of press this just to make sure we get all that delicious goodness out of it. We're gonna be doing an ice latte today. So we're gonna go with 200 grams of our milk and I'm gonna put 200 grams in each one of these. I don't think I ever realized how slimy cereal gets after sitting in milk. This is unpleasant. Okay, I think we have all six of our cereal milks all done and strained. Okay, so I made myself a tiny rubric so I don't forget. So let's review these real fast. Up front, we have the Fruity Pebbles. This is by far the darkest. It's kind of this nice red color. A lot of those colors bled off into it and with it, a lot of flavor. This is initially very, very punchy. It tastes like you took a Fruity Pebble and just juiced it for all it's worth. The Cinnamon Toast Crunch is up front as well. I have very, very high hopes for this. This tastes like a super sweet cinnamon milk. As you can see along the top, a lot of that cinnamon coating, including the cinnamon flakes has come off. So I think this is gonna be an absolutely delicious latte. Now over here, we have our Cocoa Puffs. This again is one that I have very high hopes for. As you can see, the milk is a much darker brown now. You can also see like little bits of the cereal that's broken off and kind of like ended up in the milk. Very tasty, it's kind of like a light chocolate milk. Back here, this one right here is our Fruit Loops. This is kind of an, it's like, I don't know, it, it has kind of a sheen to it and it's almost like a green blue color. Uh, it doesn't look super appetizing. It also doesn't taste very good if I'm being totally honest. It's like essence of Fruit Loops, even though we did steep the Fruit Loops for 20 minutes. I don't know if that's just because the flavor doesn't come out of the Fruit Loops very well or what the deal is, but this one might be interesting. Over here, this one right here, we have the Oreo one. The color of the milk didn't change too much, but a lot of the Oreo bits and Oreo coating kind of came off and you can see a lot of it floating in here. So this one should be really, really tasty. I'm kind of excited for like a cookies and cream latte. I don't know if that sounds good to me. And then lastly, we have our cookie crunch. This one is just a lighter brown. Um, it tastes a lot like cookie dough. So not nearly as chocolatey as this front Cocoa Puffs one, um, but not too bad. You can see it's a slightly darker color. So if some of that coating did come off, some of the chocolate did dissolve. So this one should be pretty decent as well. All right, so that being said, the next thing to do is to turn these into lattes. This is not a ton of milk. These are gonna be making about like eight ounce lattes. So for the sake of proportions, I'm gonna be putting a single shot into each one of these. So I'm gonna go pull three doubles. I'm gonna split them. Each one of these drinks will get a single shot and we'll see how it goes. single shot of espresso has been added to each cereal milk. I'm gonna stir them up, we'll get some ice in there and then we'll start tasting. I will say that it's kind of unfortunate that they're all roughly the same color now. I'll be totally honest, I was really hoping that Fruity Pebbles one would hold out with that red color. All right, I'm just gonna pretend that you can't see the start of the massive dish pile that is brewing in my sink. I'm very excited to get started. We're gonna start at the back, work our way across, and then we're gonna go forward. So in theory, we're saving the best for last, which means we're gonna start with this cookie crisp cereal milk latte. It's good. It's not super sweet. Honestly, it's really, really well balanced. The milk tastes a little bit thicker, although you don't get any like chunks from it. Um, that sounds nasty, but I'm just saying some of these cookies like broke apart a little bit. So you aren't getting really any like texture in it, which is really, really nice actually. Very, very light hint of chocolate. Um, again, not super sweet at all. This very much tastes like you doused some cookie dough in some milk. Um, 
It's very, very pleasant. It's not super distinct. If you gave this to me, I don't think I could tell you what was in it. Better than I was expecting though. Okay, now we have our Oreo, Oreo O's cereal milk latte. Again, I'm kind of disappointed that these all turned out to be the same color. I was really hoping that some more of that like definitely artificial dye would leach out of the cereal into the milk and hold that color, but it's okay. This one doesn't really taste like much. It is slightly sweeter, definitely sweeter than regular whole milk would be. I don't get any like distinguishable cookies and cream flavor. I mean, it's nice. It doesn't taste bad, but it doesn't taste like anything, if that makes sense. Okay, this was the Fruit Loops latte. Again, this is the one that was kind of like a greenish blue color. And I will say now that we've added the espresso, it is nicely mellowed back to like an even beige brown tone, which I'm very happy about. Ooh, definitely sweeter. It's actually really tasty. Again, like the Oreo one, this one doesn't taste distinctly of Fruit Loops, but it like, it comes through still. Like if I didn't know that there were Fruit Loops in this, I don't think I could like pinpoint exactly what it is. Um, but there is like a really nice, like darker sweetness to this. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. That's good, I like that. Uh, the texture also seems a lot creamier than these two. I don't know if that's because the Fruit Loops broke down more. So you're getting a lot more of that like cereal particles, if you will, in here. I drink a whole cup of that, that's delicious. Okay, this one up here is our Cocoa Puffs. I'm hoping this tastes like a mocha. High hopes, let's see how it goes. That's really nice. This is not an overpowering sweetness like you might get with a chocolate syrup. This very much tastes like you use a light chocolate milk instead. The texture is still pretty thin. I don't think a lot of the Cocoa Puffs really broke down in the steeping process. So it does feel like a whole milk latte. Um, it's nice. It's definitely like a really milk chocolate. There is a lot of sweetness in here. There's really no bitterness. And honestly, like I like a little bit of bitterness in my mochas. I do prefer more of like a in-between like milk and dark chocolate flavor. This is good though. I imagine this would be very, very good um, warmed up as a hot latte. Um, it's delicious iced as well, but this tastes like something that would be really, really tasty warm. Oh, <laughs> cinnamon's next. Um, the coating on this Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal like completely came off during the steeping process. Uh, when I was straining out everything, it just looked like plain, like, I don't know what you would call these, like wafers or crisps. Like there was no remnant of that like sugar cinnamon coating left on it. Stop, that's so good. Oh my word. Yeah, you definitely get like some tiny like little bits of like broken off cereal. Um, you get some like larger bits of cinnamon. It's really sweet, but in like a delicious way. Like of course, of course this is good. This is sugar and cinnamon and like some sort of like wafery bits and it's so yummy. Cinnamon toast crunch milk, everyone. Um, that's, that's a go in my book. On to the Fruity Pebbles, which was 100% the most flavorful milk after we were steeping it. Oh my gosh. If you do not like Fruity Pebbles, you will not like this. This tastes like concentrated, just juiced Fruity Pebbles. Very, very sweet. The bitterness of the coffee does balance it somewhat, but still out of all of these, this is 100% the sweetest of them. I think it was honestly, cause this seems like the, if you will, it was like the weakest cereal, like structurally. Um, I think a ton of this just broke down and ended up in the milk, which I'm not complaining about. The texture is definitely a lot thicker. I think we've got a lot of broken down cereal in here, which is like kind of the goal, honestly. I say that like it's a bad thing, but that's really what we were trying to do. I guess it's time to rank them. I think my least favorite out of all of them has to be the Oreo. Like when I think about Oreos, I think about a very, very distinct, very, very strong cookies and cream flavor. I think of a lot of sweetness. You have that like wafer, you have like all of that. I don't really get any of that out of this, which was kind of a disappointment. So number six, we have Oreo. Now the next one I think I will have to put is probably gonna be the cookie crisp one. This one is slightly better. I do like that you do still get some of that like cookie dough flavor, but overall it was just kind of weaker. You did get some chocolate, but again, it's not nearly as strong as the Cocoa Puffs, just like somewhere in between. It's an okay texture. It's like fine also, you know, it's passable. Like if you serve that to me at a cafe, I'd be like, ooh, this is good. Nice little twist, but I wouldn't be like blown away, you know? I think it's somewhere in between the Cocoa Puffs one and the Fruit Loops one. I know these two are definitely my top two. It's interesting because these two are very strong in different ways. This one very much tastes like Cocoa Puffs. This tastes like the cereal the milk was derived from. So I think that's really great. However, I do overall like this one better, the Fruit Loops one, but it doesn't taste like Fruit Loops. It doesn't taste like the milk 
and cereal that we put together. So I have to decide whether I'm going by accuracy of like milk flavor or just like overall preference. And I guess I have to think which one of these would I want to drink again? The one I would wanna drink again the most would probably be the Fruit Loops one. So that's gonna put the Cocoa Puffs in this bottom third. So next up, pretty obviously, I'm gonna put the Fruit Loops right here. Very, very tasty, would absolutely drink this again. I really like the texture. Doesn't necessarily taste like Fruit Loops, but it tastes sweet. And you do have this kind of like underlying interesting flavor that is really, really tasty with coffee, honestly. And then the hardest choice is gonna be whether I'm picking the Fruity Pebbles or the Cinnamon. I don't know if you've noticed on this channel, but I really, really like cinnamon and coffee. But this one is also so good and it's so distinctly cereal milk. Like if you gave this to me in a cafe, gave me no context, I would know exactly what this was just off the bat. So I think I'm gonna put Cinnamon Toast Crunch as number two. And I think honestly, Fruity Pebbles at number one. I didn't think it was gonna go that way at first, but that is very, very delicious. It's very sweet. The milk was very, very easy to make and it tastes like Fruity Pebbles in a latte, which is actually super tasty. I think we have our final ranking. At the bottom, we have our Oreo O's. Then at number five, we have Cookie Crisp. Number four, we have Cocoa Puffs. Then we have Fruit Loops, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And then finally, Fruity Pebbles is the victor. Man, I'm still kind of surprised that I like the Fruity Pebbles more than the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. That's my hot take. I would welcome anyone else to try, make a bunch of cereal milk, make ones that I didn't pick, and let me know how they add up. This is crazy easy to make. I'm gonna link all the videos and recipes I used as kind of like reference. Again, a majority of my information came from Christina Tosi. She has an amazing video on cereal milk. Super, super helpful. And I think it'd be really valuable if you wanted to try cereals other than these, because again, none of these cereals really needed to be toasted or like tampered with in any way. But if you're doing something like a flaky cereal or maybe something more like wheat based, then you might want to toast it. And she's got a lot of really great information on it. So there we go. Cereal milk lattes, they are fun, good way to switch it up. Something you can make super easily and then store in your fridge if you want. Anyways, thank you for joining me on this adventure today. This was a whole bunch of fun. I hope you learned something. I know I for sure did. And I will look forward to seeing you next week. Again, I want to give a huge thank you to our sponsor today, who is Omaze. If you are interested in entering to win that $100,000, as well as supporting Meals on Wheels Atlanta, head down to the description below or go to omaze.com MDC. Again, I am on TikTok at Morgan Drinks Coffee, Instagram at Morgan Drinks Coffee. I'm floating around Portland drinking coffee if you happen to find me there. But otherwise, have a great rest of your day. I'm going to go finish this up and try to figure out what I'm going to do with six boxes of open cereal. Have a great day, everyone.